Hi, my name's Kaylee, and this is my floss tube channel. I haven't had a video for two months. Um, sorry about that. Oh, I should say thank you for all returning viewers and hello to anyone new. Um, currently, there is a bird trying to like bust its way through my window. It's pretty annoying. But, uh, I don't know if you can hear that. It's legit. This bird wants in. Okay. So that might distract me a bit. <clears throat> Anyways. Um, so I didn't make a video last month because I was monogamously stitching, uh, start and finish that I was taking as a gift, uh, oh my gosh, to Stitch North. Uh, I finished with like five hours to spare. And then forgot it the first day and had to take it the second day. Anyways, I'll leave that all for later. Um, so yeah, that's why I didn't film last month. It didn't, it would not have been very interesting. And this month I have way more to talk about. Um, so yeah, I went to Stitch North both weekends. Uh, I was a vendor both weekends, but I got to sit a bit and stitch. It was wonderful. Um, Mad, mad props and thanks to Evertoast that. That was amazing. That was a really good time. I can't even imagine how much work it is to put one of those together. And that was a blast. I look for looking forward to doing it again next year. I learned a lot. I did not bring enough stuff, which is flattering and well, next year I just know. I know for next year. So I'm excited. I'm very excited. Um, so what do I have to say? Okay, so I guess I'll start with what this bird, the, um, I stitched on. Okay, I'll show my gift that I got. So Allie and I from Misfit Stitches a year ago, it's like we should do an exchange. Luckily, we're both procrastinators and both started the piece we were going to give each other like the month that was due kind of thing so um if you watch her videos you understand uh how important moons and cats are in Allie's life so how perfect is if i can find it um this image uh artwork by laura colors oh it's a moon cat Right? So it was like just under 14,000 stitches, no background, dyed the fabric. And here's a picture or maybe a couple of it finished. Yeah, I stayed up till like 2 a.m. to finish it and then got everything packed and was unloading. Allie was helping me set up my table and I was like, I forgot your present. So we did our exchange the next day. And Allie charted and made me this gorgeous Cree alphabet oh, sampler. Come on now, look how gorgeous this is. And it already has a place, you can't see it, but uh, it already has a place on the wall. Isn't that stunning? She did such a good job. This frame is perfect. I love it. I love it. Thank you. We're going to do another exchange, but in two years, no doubt we will leave it until the last, last moment again. But that was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Okay. I have notes. That is what I am referring to. Um, okay. Also, so in March, I had a monogamous sort of month as well. I tried and did not succeed doing 30,000 stitches on Forgon Mini by Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, minis are just, I love confetti, but there is only confetti. And uh, here I hope is where you saw it last time. Oh, I should undo this. And here she is. 
He's beautiful. The only part I don't like is here. What is going on here? I'm not sure. But, oh. What is your deal? Um, so this is a finish for December. For my mom, for her birthday, and Christmas. It's both. It's for both. Um, I need to, after this month, work, I think like five, I need like 5% a month. Okay, we'll deal with that later. To get her finished. <clears throat> I was good with the uh, monogamous. I went hard for like 7,000, 8,000 stitches and then I burnt out. All browns doesn't help. Doesn't help either. But uh, okay. She's looking pretty good though. So next, my travel stitching. My travel stitching has gotten some love. This is a finish for September. My stepbrother's birthday. And... Currently, I feel like I'm on track. Oh, so maybe I'll show you the printout I have. I haven't finished. finished. So here's what it looks like when it's finished. Trans Pride Tapestry, artwork by Uncanny Kari, charted by Dee's 20, who I met at Stitch More. I feel like I met all the people. Was, there's so many people. It was fantastic. Um, So here is now, I might add a picture of it, me stitching it in the sun to show off the sulky UV. This is fun. I like this piece a lot. It is big. So it's going to become a knitting bag, a knitting project bag. When it's finished. I am happy with that progress. Um, next, oh, at Stitch North, because I wasn't sure what to bring. I had to bring, um, the first weekend I had to bring the Moon Cat, because I was trying to finish it for the second weekend. Um, so I mainly worked on that, but I also brought Battle for the Arctic, my blanket, because it was absolutely freezing and raining and yes so uh this is the finished piece oh uh, i'm working the canada flag well i'm trying to get to the canadian flag and at stitch north i managed to get to ten thousand. so i really need to binge work on this a bit because it's over two million and 10,000 is not very much. Um, so I don't know, in, in June, maybe, maybe July. Oh, here's a, so I'm working like here. I think I started going this way. But I need to go down. I just didn't feel like doing all the, all the white. All right, so. Ooh. Yes, okay. Now at 10,000 stitches. Whee! Yay! Need to put in just a few more. Yeah. So I want to try 30,000 again. I actually already made my goals for next year. I think I only have like one or two set finishes. So I'm going to see how many of my whips I can get 24,000 stitches in. That would be, that would be good for this one. So yes, there was a picture of this at Stitch North with someone, sorry, I forget your name. Um, and she's working on a long dog on like 56 count. And it's going to be like four inches by four inches. And this one's like 72 by 54. Ah, yes, the extremes. The extremes. There's like a table at the second weekend with Kaylee and Natty and other people that just had all these little itty bitty, itty bitty 
whips. They looked incredible. I tried doing Mooncat on 36 count. One over... Did I try one over... Yeah, I must have. One over one. And I ended up going to 22 count. Okay, so the last whip I worked on... Uh, May, we decided it, to do a challenge, Maxine Gad's May. And, oh, um, I guess some people can still enter. So there's going to be two prizes. Um, so the first of May, you took a picture of what you were going to work on. And um, then on the 31st of May, see how many stitches you've done. So people doing 10 half their stitches. And um, the most progress gets a prize from the shop. But also everyone who's participating, so there's still time if you're interested, hashtag Maxine Gads May. I hope I'm, I'll write it if it's wrong. But Max, or I'll write it down below. Um, my daughter will just randomly pick someone else to win because winning is fun. Winning is fun. Okay, so this is mine. Um, this is a restart because I didn't want to stitch all this background. So I dyed the fabric. Now there's two sizes of this one. I, of course, chose the massive size. And Max and Gad has a sale on right now. And I went on her website. And she has it now available with the background removed. But, of course, it's with the small, smaller size background removed. So I still have to... Delete this background, which is fine, which is fine. It's good practice because there's lots of charts I want to do that too. <clears throat> so hopefully I've shown where I was and here's where I am. Needle minder from Allie. Just giving these out a stitch mark. See, moon, moon. Okay, look how cool this flower is. It's ginormous though. This is, this is big. I think, I don't know, will I do all three flowers or will I just start, I don't know. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm not even near finished this flower. But this is gorgeous. And seeing everyone's projects is delightful. There are so many beautiful Max and Gad patterns out there. I do want to have the flower finished by the end of the month. But we shall see. We shall see. Okay, so that's, that's that. All right. So that is all I've worked on. And now a little shop talk. Okay, so thank you, Paula, not Nixie, for test stitching little raccoon for me how adorable is this so this is one of my cousins Miriam Russo's art pieces that the charts available in the shop and the kit is now available as well so I am so lucky to now have two new cross stitches to hang on the wall he is stinking adorable uh so thank you so much for test stitching this for me. I really appreciate it. And now he's hanging so I can look at him every day. He's lovely. I love him. And also, oh, this weekend, it is my birthday weekend, and it's also a long weekend in Canada. Uh, so there's a sale in the shop on, I think it's Friday till Monday. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's when I did. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll link that down below as well. But I'm pretty sure that's that's what I did. I'm 38, don't feel 38, so the sale sort of reflects both ages. And I am overdue for a stitch with me. I now have stuff to talk about, so I will be doing a stitch with me. And also, I had such a fun time doing the die with me. I have the next die with me project. It's for Alice. Hi, Alice. Honeybee stitches, Stitcher. And there's a hashtag for this. It's an Escher. I'll put the image here. And there's a hashtag for Eschers. I'll link it down below. And I like confetti, but 
this is legit confetti that I probably would not want to stitch either. So I have I bought the pattern, and I'm going to like cut try like cut out a piece of paper that's that exact <laughs> that exact image, and then I think I'm gonna like spray dye to try to get that spotted background look. Anyways, I'm gonna do a dye with me so we can see if I succeed or fail. Uh, there, because doing a Lars was a lot of fun. That was a very fun experience. Um, so, do I have anything else to say? Yeah, so stitch with me, die with me. Oh, yes. Everyone in the West Coast, thoughts are with you guys. That I've seen the pictures. It's scary air. Is it the worst air quality in the world at the moment? I hope everyone's okay. We woke up with frost on our vehicles today but I consider myself lucky because uh, we don't have fires so I hope you guys get rain and just rain you need wind help I don't know but uh, thoughts with the west coast for sure and then I am doing my uh, following Angie Slowly Crafts who is in the west coast I hope you're okay and you and your family um recommending floss tubers and instagrammers so the first floss tuber is those missing stitches uh she only has like three videos and they're fantastic she is full coverage queen tons of full coverage tons of progress very very entertaining videos you should definitely check those out and check her channel out Next is Mrs. Stitches, who I got to meet at Stitch North, um, who's driving, who drove, I guess it's over now, or I don't know, um, from like one side of Canada all the way to the other side with her vehicle full of animals <laughs> and uh, I guess driving back. And, I, and she said she's done it more than once, which is uh, amazing. So she has a lot, a, like a wide range of um projects and a lot of finishes she gets a lot done she also tells a lot of cool stories so those are really interesting videos to watch and then last i know we all know rachel ray but she has uh just a like fibers channel now oh and condolences because she's supposed to come to stitch north but there's a bereavement in the family so condolences there and um so her new channel if you haven't checked it out rachel ray fiber arts so it's like knitting, I don't know if it's crochet, cross stitch, like different than the um, diamond painting. And I love how her videos are filmed. She films a very, very good videos. So you should check, check those out. Okay, so uh, Instagrammers. First is Caddy Sue Katz. Um, she has a huge selection of cross stitch. She's working on that famous piece delight. Uh, what's it called? Did I write it here? Uh, Garden of Garden of Earthly Delights. Is it a Renaissance painting? I feel like it's a Renaissance painting, and it's a triptych. It's ginormous. Heaven and Earth put it out. I, I it must be in three parts because it's huge. Um, so I'm down for anyone stitching on insane insane baths it's great um what oh next stitchy natty we met at stitch north hello hello it was great meeting you um she has a range of cross stitch she was sitting at the table with everyone stitching on the insanely high thread count all these itty bitty adorable adorable pieces look fantastic so check out her instagram and last is Nina X Stitch. She has tons of full coverage. And a lot, like she makes good progress. She does really, it's quite, quite impressive. Um, so check out her Instagram. So that's me caught up. I need to get some more variety and stitching. June, well maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, so yes, I'm gonna do a die with me and a stitch with me next, and then hopefully get back on track for once a month with floss tubes. So thank you so much for watching. Have an absolutely fantastic weekend and see you soon. Hey, bye.